So you have your nice shiny new SBC and you want to know how to load up an OS image onto an SD card, this video will show you how to do it on Linux for any target SBC. If you want to see how to do it on Mac or Windows, then check out my other videos. There's several ways of doing this on Linux. One method is to use GUI applications and the other is command line tools. I took a look at these applications. With Linux, the best GUI options you have are Disk Image Writer and Etcher. Both Etcher and Disk Image Writer are the most reliable GUI methods to use for any SBC. They're simple, they do the job and handle all the Linux complexities for you without issue. Etcher is cross-platform and runs on Linux, Windows and Mac. The command line DD is really only for people who know what they're doing. If you use this method, you run the risk of overriding your OS disk and losing all your data. You have been warned. Disk Image Writer it comes with almost every Linux distribution and works with compressed images. Just select the file, right click and open with Disk Image Writer. You are then asked which destination device to use. I used a USB to micro SD card adapter. Any converter or adapter will work the same. Click Start Restoring and it will start writing to the SD card. At which point you can go away and have a cup of tea or beer or protein shake and come back a while later to this. Once finished, click on the little eject icon above and you're done. You can insert it into your shiny new SPC. Some GUI applications like Disk Image Writer can decompress a compressed image while it's writing, which is nice. Etcher, however, requires a decompressed image to write, so we'll need to extract it first. Just select the compressed image and right-click to extract using the Archive Manager. Etcher is a great little cross-platform application that does the same thing. Download it from their website. Once finished, don't forget to set the permissions to execute and then run it. Of course, it requires root to run, so enter in your sudo password. Once installed, you can run it from your apps menu. You're presented with the same GUI as the other platforms. Select the image, plug in your SD card and click flash and it'll chug away writing to the SD card. Hmm, speaking of chugging, I'm thirsty. Oh and we're back and it's finished. Once it gets to this stage you can eject it and plug it into your SPC. This method has a higher risk of failure. If you don't know what you're doing, I'd use Disk Image Writer or Etcher. There's several steps to using DD. First, insert your SD card. Next, open up a terminal session and check to see what device file the SD card appears as. Then unmount the disk partition. In this case, I'm going to write the Pine64 image to the SD card. You can do this using the DD command, but of course, it requires admin access via sudo to achieve this. Just to explain the command a bit more, IF is the input file, OF is the output file. Remember, everything is a file under Unix. VS is a block size, which in this case, we're using one megabyte. This will write data in one meg chunks to the SD card. This can be any value, but if it's too small, you're writing time increases too high and the law of diminishing returns takes effect. Now you can go away and obtain the beverage of your choice and come back approximately 1035 seconds later or thereabouts. Thanks for watching this quick tutorial on how to write to an SD card. Hopefully I've given you some options to use. If you like this channel you can subscribe or follow by clicking any of the icons on the screen. I put up a new video every week on tutorials, reviews and also in-depth look at technology explanations. Until then, see you next time.